So I was out walking on this mountain range, you know, eating some gummies, nothing special, when I come upon this lantern. Now at first, I didn't think anything about it. In fact, last Halloween, I cornered the market on these. Yard looked perfect. But when I touched it, I started to see images of a video game that was cancelled a long time ago. <laughs> weird, right? Then I noticed that these lanterns were everywhere, each containing a cancelled video game. So now, I'm out on a mission to document them all. Welcome to the Mountain of Forgotten Games. Ah, of course. <laughs> you were such a cool game. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean, a theme park attraction turned movie turned video game franchise. I remember going to the movies and the trailer to Curse of the Black Pearl came on. Everyone in the auditorium started laughing. Naturally. I mean, a Disney ride movie? It sounded idiotic. Being a huge Disney fan, I got behind any project, so I knew it was going to be good. Heck, I was the one who defended the Country Bears and the Tower of Terror movies. Oh yeah, I'm that hardcore. A few video games also bear the iconic title as well. The Legend of Jack Sparrow, Kingdom Hearts 2, which featured a Pirates of the Caribbean level, Disney Infinity, Curse of the Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chest, and World's End, which were all released along with their movie counterparts. However, one specific title never got the opportunity to blow gamers out of the water. And don't go back into the video to where I said blow gamers and just stop it right there. Or loop it. You're better than that. You're better than that. Pirates of the Caribbean Armada of the Damned. It was created by Propaganda Games, who of course was working with Disney Interactive. The game takes place before the events of the movies and focuses on a character named James Starling, whom was killed by a man named Admiral Maldonado and left to sink in the ocean. However, he comes back to life and is given a second chance with a curse. As other games have done in the past, Armada of the Dam gives you the option to choose the path Captain James Sterling will follow. Will you be a dreaded pirate or a legendary one? Choose wisely. The dreaded path will lead you down a trail seeking power while the legendary one, fame, glory, and more than likely, rum. Why is the rum always gone? The game was an action-adventure RPG with many environments to explore and pick fights in. You have the option to slice your opponents, parry, and counter along with all your natural and supernatural abilities. The ships, along with their crews, were customizable to suit your individual needs. In fact, your ship, the Nemesis, is part of the plot which has you searching for various pieces to complete it. Then, roam around the Caribbean fighting and destroying other ships. The game also featured a few characters from the movies a younger Hector Barbosa as Captain James Sterling's quartermaster, and Tia Dalma, also known as Calypso. Before this game could be released, Disney Interactive restructured propaganda games and the development team that was working on it was shut down. The fans were outraged by this, mainly because they knew that there were two teams working at propaganda games. One, the team that was let go was working on Armada of the Dam, while the other team was creating Tron Evolution. Now, Tron Evolution is a fun game, but I think most fans would have wanted Armada of the Dam to be released instead. However, this game wasn't completely put to rest. The music from it was recycled and later used in LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean. So, in a way, part of this game still lives on today, just in another video game. Drink up, me hearties, yo ho! Well, one down. Huh. Tons more to go. <laughs>